in the Gospels, Jesus was front page news. Jesus was so much front page news that he said, if you reject me, you reject the Father. I'm the front page. I am the way. Okay, I'm, I'm front page. When he said, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit, he told them, I'm going to leave, but I'm still going to be on the front page because he's going to talk about me. He, he, gonna, he, gonna, he will not talk about himself. He will talk about me. So I'm the superstar. Yeah. So I will be with you always. Now watch this. Jesus is not equally related to every Christian and he's not equally related to every preacher. Even if all of them are saved. He was not equally related to all of his followers. He had the 70, he had the 12, and he had the three. And each one of them got a little bit more of him. Only three went up to the Mount of Transfiguration. All 12 didn't. He, he didn't relate to everybody the same way. That's because everybody didn't relate to him on the same level. St. John chapter 2, verses 23 to 25 says many believed in him. The Greek phrase is pistuo ice. Pistuo ice always means get saved in the book of John. He says many got saved. Many believed in him. And then it says, but he would not commit himself to them. So there are pastors Jesus won't commit to. There are churches he won't commit to. There are leaders he won't commit to. There are saints he won't commit to. Because this verse is not talking about Jesus being with you when you're sick, Jesus being with you when you're down, Jesus being with you when you're discouraged. That's not this verse. This verse is talking about, I will be with you when you are making disciples. He says, if you want my special presence, if you want my intimate, if you want me to be committed to you, then I gotta have more than a Sunday morning sermon. I gotta have more than a great choir or choir festival. I got to have more than well-dressed ushers. I got to have more than a nice Sunday school program. I got to know that you are making folk look like me. And until I know that is your goal, you will not experience all of me that might be available to you because I'm discriminatory in who I give myself to. You have people in your church, they don't all get the same access to you. There's the general congregation, then there's the leadership. I mean, you got people at different levels. You love them all, but you don't relate to them all the same way because some of them relate to you at a distance. And some of them, you deal with them on a more intimate and a more responsible level. So what I'm saying to you is you get a bonus when you are a disciple-making pastor and pastor's wife and you are making a disciple-making church with all the other frills, that's fine, that go along with it, but don't let the fruit become the root that you are to make disciples. And when we do that, and that's what our conference is designed to do.